Hello, welcome to this video. Today we are going to see a special software. It's a very tiny software. Organizing online event is not an easy thing. We have to do many things. If you want to do your event to stand out, you need to engage your audience and make them the path of the event. Majority of the audience never ask any questions or uncomfortable to speak among others. With a Slido, everyone has the same chance to get here. Slido is an easy to use web app, giving voice to the entire audience. People can ask, interact without hesitation and vote for their favorite opinion and can engage the attendees throughout the session. We can have fun quizzes using and we can go for the live polls. To join, we have to use only the code, Slido code. Mm, to join in, simply they have to type on slido.com into the web browser and I enter the code, that code we can give it to them. The complete event, only one code will be there. Using the same code, they can attend a number of questions. The maximum 30 questions are possible in one event in Slido app. It uh, works any device, it works on any device. No need to install anything. It is an amazing tool to do a successful online event. Slido will be using to collect questions and allow you to express your opinion in live polls. Every audience, every audience will be connected with you and you can attend to them. Really, this is an amazing tool. I will introduce this today. To join the Slido, we have to type Slido, slido.com in the browse bar. And this takes us to the Slido. So this is the first screen of Slido. From this Slido, you can see if you are noticing the console, the product, solutions, pricing, resources, and enterprise login. So these are the normal things available as usual in the front console. Here, if you are looking at the product, you can see these are, they are the questions you can generate. You can ask the questions and you can launch the poll. You can launch the quizzes. You can live video uh, integration. You can link these through the Zoom and analytics and the final results also we can construct as an infographic. And that infographic you can place in your website or you can place, you can share through some social media, WhatsApp, Facebook, like, okay? And this is the solutions, the remote meeting, virtual events, business, so webinars, conferences. So these are the various solutions are there. If you're coming to pricing, they are giving the three models, pricing, four model pricing. One is the free version. And another one is the $10 per month. So there they will be using, they will be permitting only one user with unlimited engagement. Another one is a $50. You just click the, uh, the pricing. We'll see, we'll have a look at that. $50 per month. And there the only one user, but it gives advanced settings and control for professional events. If you are coming to the $150 per month, this is another one enterprise model. There three users are permitted and uh, extra security and support for the large organizations. So this is how they are giving the formal, uh, the various models for the plans, right? So first, if you want to launch, if you want to start, you have to log in first. So if you have the account, you can log in or uh, directly if you want to start a quick event, directly you can click on the launch the quick, quick event. Quick event. Uh, so the, what are the requirements? that will be asked then and then we can do that you see you can create a new poll or you can now you can see the question and answers here here you can see the settings the copy event link that can be shared with your friends or your students so that they too can join so joining is not a big issue simply they can log into the slido.com and the code see just like that d657 is a no like one code will be generated that code will be you, that code can be used to enter into the, the launching code. You see, for example, I am creating, I am clicking on this, I create a new poll. So there I can use multiple choice, open text questions, multiple choice, many questions. You might be knowing that, no? The open text, word count, word cloud, and the ratings and the quiz. So these are the various types of the questions you can accommodate for your newly created thing. For example, I'm clicking, I'm selecting the 
uh, the multiple choice so here we can type the question what we can i uh, for example who is our prime minister okay so here we can say mr modi then uh, mr chandra babu naidu mr amit shah and mr and mr rahul gandhi so this is the poll i am creating now allow the attendees to select multiple options you can now you can if you are checking this multiple options can also be checked by the attendees okay let us see and if you don't want that you can uncheck that so you can save so that has been saved now you see this is the poll is ready the list of polls here we have created one poll who is our prime minister you can create this at the time of your requirement you can just you can click this poll so that your audience may attend see this is how the poll will be looks like in their screen for example i am creating i am going to another i am using another browser slido.com see slido.com now i can use this code you see you need not go to the login you need not sign up no need to do anything just you can give the slido code this code is already there so what is the code d657 you can share this through whatsapp or email whatever it is or you can announce in the auditorium announce in the event so d uh, sorry i forget the code d657 you just click d657 and you can say this see they will be able to see the quiz right you see who is our prime minister i am selecting chandrabhavan naidu and modi it is not accepting but if you are if you have selected that multiple choices then easily we can go for the second answer also simultaneously this is send is send so this is how the only one attended so it is showing the 100% you can come to the main here also you can see that is it so in case if the attendees are attending they can see the answers so these are the options the how many people are getting how many people are answer choosing that one so the percentage also displaying here see we can go to the next event you can simultaneously you can do another also now you see the ones if you are launching you can do like this if you want to close you can deactivate so that nobody can uh, register their uh, choices okay we are stopping the poll and you can continue your lecture at the time one second if you want to launch you can launch another one see multiple choice mm, here i am using open text what are the open text give your idea to stop corona okay so allow your attendees to submit multiple answers okay i am permitting them and we can save and see if you are looking at here we can see the two if you want to open once again launch the same quiz you can do that otherwise if you want to launch this you can click this now it is on these people also can switch to that code d657 right we'll try that ah you see this is how the mask is one physical distance and stay alone and send see i am coming to the launch here we can see this is one audience given this as the answer like that how many audience if you are uh, more audience we can enjoy that so for example i will be launching this with my uh, the class students then we will see that so at the end if you want to stop it we can stop this and here you can see the show results we can see otherwise we can 
hide the results showing the question answers here this is the settings and the copy enter link and the copy the event link that link also can be shared with your uh, the students or uh, event uh, uh, participants so disable participant question and answer if it is disabling nobody can ask any questions right so that is that and a switch and admin panel you can click the admin panel so that we can have the reports we can see the analytics and more you see live polls here you can see the analytics we already posted one poll right so that poll also you see this is one poll this is another one poll if you want to take the statistics or you want to export you can export this see you can download that or you can export to google okay for example if you want to download that you can download in what format you can go for the pdf format otherwise excel format the various format you can get download for your documentation purpose the infographic also one of the point or one of the option here comes along with the slido here you can click you can create a slido copy clipboard and you can paste you can share through social media links linkedin or twitter or you can you can paste in your the website official website okay so this is how the things are moving up now we will create a simple quiz actually we have given that no now we will create one more so live poll i am going uh, here i am creating a poll what i want to create i will be creating a uh, word cloud okay let us see the word cloud is nothing but uh, define define covid okay allow multiple answer enable then profinity filter set character limit 50 okay and save i think some spell mistake okay no issues so this is how we have created one poll here if you want to launch this we can see this you can edit this is the previous one This one open text, this is a cloud, right? Word cloud poll. Okay. So there are three things are there. The uh, the, the, the three dots are there. No, you can click, you can see, you can duplicate. If you want to create one more, the same kind of you can have the duplicate, or if you want to have the uh, share, you can see the the link. That link also can be copied and you can save share. Okay. So this is how one second if you want to create one more, you can see and uh, so what type you want to create that also in case if you want to add an image you can click this the image also can be stored here okay so this i am deleting that so these are the three now we are going to invite some students and we will see how it will be working in a dynamic way so this is a code if you want to change the code you directly you can go there you just click instead of d657 anytime you can say See, I am giving the code as a Kalyan and you can save this. Okay. Now, any code, you see, if you are coming here and switch event, the Kalyan should be given as a code. Then only we can attend. Okay. So, this is that. Okay. There is no uh, event or live. For example, I am giving this. I am giving this and I am going back. Here, I can switch event and giving the code so whatever maybe the the event is live i can see the edit responses i want to edit my response to this one now i can see it has been changed right so this is how it is if you are closing that we can close this so it's a very interactive kind of quizzes we can conduct using slido now i am going to share this and one more thing here is the uh, the present mode you can present in a new tab or you can present in the full screen or copy the present a mode link we can copy you can share with your students right so you can connect the projector to your laptop the projector the laptop so that the full screen also will be visible you can display in the auditorium in a common way everyone easily can view that right now now i am floating this one you can see the participant mode also
Okay, so we will plot this. So the pole is now on. Now the seven participants entered into that. And how many people are attending? We can see that. That in students. And 21 students. So this is how we can see how the poll is going on. Okay. Right. Now I am stopping this. I am stopping this. I am floating this one. I am floating this one. They are typing some answers. I am also doing the same test as a participant so that we can see how this is. Stay with all. Now I am coming here. Present mode. You can see. Okay, so here we can see how the students are attending, what is their mindset, how they are explaining. So it is very easy and we can get the mindset of the students. So that is how we can do that. See, I am giving the third one. Now they are defining and we can see all the results, right? We can see all the results. In case if you want to I take one more phase. Define CC add option creative creative context creative comments and copyright content. Okay, so on the fly, on the fly, on the on the fly, I am creating this. Select right answer. The right answer is creative comments, right? I am saving and closing this, and I am sending this. Take the next one. Now we can see. We can see. This one. This is already given, right? We are starting the quiz. See, some students have chosen the contextual creations, copyright content, only the 70, 68 percentage out of these students, they are saying this one, right? And we can see the quiz contents also and if you want to take the content you can go to that place you can see and uh, one by one and uh, how they are attending that also we can see here it's a 44 participant attended here it is a 42 and here is a 23 and this one is a 27 participants this you want to export you can export this as a downloadable format and uh, this one I am taking you see visit pricing so this is only for the pro users if you are paying you can download that okay now uh, go to google so here also it is only for the paid users okay no issues so this is how we can export the responses okay in case if you want to mm, present in the tab so this one is nothing but the results will be present in a new tab see new tab has been opened this will be presented and this one you can see you can see by creating by connecting to the projector you can show it to the all the people okay 
and uh, this is how this will be working in case if you are clicking here you can see these are the various setups event we can create a schedule you can schedule the event you can create one quiz you can schedule the quiz so that next tomorrow your class timings the quiz automatically will be popping out automatically will be ready for your classes okay so these are the various these are the various options available here and the logout also available here and uh, help center also there in the settings menu okay so like this analytics if you are coming to analytics infographics can be created we will see this is the pink color i am selecting and uh, i can go to copy clipboard or you can take this i think this also only for the paid copy to clipboard is so copying but it is not responding right so it might be for the paid users in this poll 149 students attended this poll and here is the question active participants are 61 like that we can see and we can copy and we can share it through the various media so this is how the slider will be using so like that we can ask the students to write their question uh, i will try to show that also here yeah, the schedule the quick event the quick event here uh, i am creating open text see i am creating open text now we can ask you learn today okay allow the participants submit answers and save and you can launch this you can line this and t422 is the code we'll see how they are participating and before that if you want to stop that the previously launched one you can stop that and you can come down here you can see how the participants are raising their topic see this is the one in case instead of that if you are delivering the lecture that the poll code also can be given to them like this so they can mention they can post their question so that we can address see accordingly you see they are we are the many things nine student nine student the many students are attending so lively we can see that right okay so this is how we can engage the students we we can engage the participants you see the we are open education resources but different versions open education resources this one that one they are just expressing their the creativity right they are expressing their questions so like that using their mobile without disturbing without hesitations is equal choices equal chances to raise their to ask their questions so in case if there is any peculiar otherwise a special questions to be addressed immediately you can address so that without raising without uh, any the difficulty you know you can explain the topic so this is how we can engage the participants without any difficulty so i think i have discussed all the majority of the points of uh, this is slido.com i hope you will be enjoying by using this slido.com thank you